guys, Dave here, Cherry Tree Hill. I'm here with my beautiful wife, Annie, at our cellar door in Sutton Forest. And today we're gonna to show you a very interesting wine, uh, a little bit different wine. Um, and it's actually named after my wife. It's, uh, it's the Fumé Blanc. And um, the inspiration for this wine was, Annie and I were traveling through the Loire Valley quite some time ago, and, um, and Annie fell in love with this style of wine. And uh, so, I kept it from her for a number of years, and we, even while I was making the wine, and she never knew, and it was kind of I bottled as a surprise for her. A lovely and, surprise it was. Yeah. So, um, basically, a Fumé Blanc is a Sauvignon Blanc, which has been barrel fermented in oak. Um, so, this one is really different to a normal Savvy, but it does have a bigger body, um, and uh, just due, due to the fermentation in the oak barrels. Uh, so, let's have a look at the wine. It's a 2018 vintage. So you can have a look. Uh, so we put it in a flint bottle so you can actually see the color. It's a beautiful colored wine. Um, it's quite different to a normal savvy, isn't it, babe? It's a, it's a little bit deeper in color. Yeah, definitely. And um, a little bit more textural as well. A little bit sort of more... You can tell there's a bit, gonna be more body more in the viscous, wine. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, expecting it to be a little bit bolder than the savvy but i mean it should still be a lot lovely fresh wine um we'll have a look at the nose what are you getting out of that babe i, I can really taste some passion fruit and some sort of tropical it smells um, like tropical yeah. fruit i even get a little bit of grapefruit on the nose yeah maybe even some mango and you can smell the oak as well yeah like we don't smash it with too much oak it, it goes into 40 percent new oak and it stays in oak for around about 12 months, but it still retains that freshness. So you can smell it's still a lovely fresh one, but that That's oak beautiful. is really prominent on the nose. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, let's see what it tastes like. Oh, yeah, I much prefer this style to a, to a non-barrel fermented Sauv Blanc. It's, um, got a lot more well it has a lot more texture to it um still has that lovely fresh fruit but what, what, what do you get out of that though? do you know what i think is interesting about this wine is it really appeals to people who like Sauv Blanc, but it also appeals to people who like chardonnay because it mm. does have that oaky flavor yeah um and yet it sits somewhere in between those two it's not a chardonnay and it's not a Sauv Blanc. it's just yeah. this really unusual fruity delicious wine i don't know it's just you great. can tell that she loves the yeah. style and i guess that's why we make it we try to do things a little bit differently in, in cherry tree hill and uh yeah i love this style of wine it's um just um not so many people do this and with sap blanc in australia i think more people probably should but um it's uh got a lot more texture definitely a bit more body i probably would say it would appeal more to a Chardonnay drinker than a Sauv Blanc, but Almost, does yeah, but it still does hold like you know, it still does hold a little bit of appeal for the um Sauv Blanc drink because you still can taste that really herbaceous sort yeah. of still flavors fresh. that you get with a Sauv Blanc. Yeah. yeah, correct. There you go. So, 2018 Fumé Blanc named after mm. Annie. Enjoy, guys.